The Vicra 60 Heat Recovery Air Handling Unit is designed to provide permanent air exchange of cottages, offices, hotels, cafes, conference halls and other domestic and public premises by means of mechanical ventilation. The unit functioning is as follows. The warm extract air is driven to the ventilation unit and is cleaned through the filter. Then air stream flows through the heat exchanger and is exhausted outside by means of the exhaust fan. The clean cold outdoor air is driven by the supply fan to the ventilation unit, where it is filtered and then the air stream flows through the heat exchanger and is supplied to the room. The heat energy contained in the warm extract air is transferred to the cold outside air. This way heat recovery minimizes heat losses and reduces heating costs in winter. The integrated electric EC motors with safe low voltage 12 volts are used too for air supply and exhaust. The unit casing is made of painted metal and is internally lined with a heat and sound insulating layer. The unit casing contains a plate heat exchanger, a supply and exhaust fan. The front panel rests on the rotating sleeves and enables servicing access. The G4 supply filter between the fan and the heat exchanger serves to clean the supply air. The extract filter is located in the upper part of the front panel. An exhaust air temperature sensor downstream of the heat exchanger provides heat exchanger freezing protection. As the exhaust air temperature falls below 3 degrees plus or 37 and 4 Fahrenheit, the freezing danger signal turns the supply fan off and the unit operates in exhaust mode only. The Micro 60 air handling unit is featured with simple mounting. For mounting you need a supplied mounting template and remember to purchase two air ducts of required length and 125 mm diameter. Mark the holes for the air ducts and fastening holes using the mounting template. Remove the mounting template and drill the through holes. We recommend preparing a wall recess for the junction box at a required place at the same time. Now prepare air ducts in required length and install those in the core hole to be flush with the inner wall surface and protrude 10 mm on the outer wall to prevent condensate leakage on the wall. Fill the space between the wall and the air duct with the mounting foam. To install the unit, please follow these steps. Open the front panel and remove the heat exchanger. Connect the unit spigots with the air ducts. Screw the ventilation unit to the wall. Install the heat exchanger and close the front panel. Route all the required cables and wires through a prepared hole in the wall for the speed switch. Install the junction box into the wall. Connect and lay the executive element of the speed switch to the junction box. Fasten the executive part with two screws. Close the executive part of the speed switch with the decorative front panel. Then press the front panel latches to fix it. Disconnect the unit from power supply prior to any operations with the unit. The unit is designed for connection to single phase 100-240 volts and 50-60 power mains. The controller unit is located under the protecting panel of the unit. Connection to the control unit is performed with a supplied 4-wire cable 3 meter long. Mounting of the outer ventilation hood on the outer wall is as follows. Lean the ventilation hood against the outer wall. Mark the four fastening holes and drill those. Insert the expansion anchors into the holes and fix the ventilation hood with the screws. Remember to perform service works three or four times per year. Clean the surfaces and functional parts of dust, clean or replace the filters. Clogged filters increase air resistance, which reduces performance of the ventilation unit. Clean the filters with a vacuum cleaner or flush those under the running water. Remove dust using a soft dry brush, a soft cloth or a vacuum cleaner. Do not use water, abrasive detergents, sharp objects or solvents. Clean the impaler blades once a year. 
remember to clean the heat exchanger regularly to maintain its high heat recovery efficiency. Cleaning is allowed only after withdrawal of the heat exchanger from the ventilation unit. Clean the heat exchanger with a vacuum cleaner or flush it under running water.